Yo and hello everybody, it's Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's Monday, which you know what that means. That means it's a mail day today. I'm going to do two videos tonight. The first one I'm going to do is show you the mail that I got today, and the second one is going to be a contest response for Ray from Philly. He uh, reached 600 subscribers. I'm really proud of him. Uh, can't believe it. He's made it to 600. It's awesome. His channel's great, so <clears throat> I'll do a response video in a little bit for that. In terms of mail, I've got mail that I've gotten today. I got quite a few things today and then stuff from Saturday. So the first thing I want to show off is something that I forgot that I ordered that I think is just kind of neat and quirky. It was kind of an impulse purchase. I saw it and I was kind of looking around for it and it's a little Hall of Fame shot glass. Kind of vintage looking. I don't know that it's vintage. I just know that it's got a cool look to it and I'm going to set it up on one of my shelves up there with my Hall of Fame bobbleheads just have it sit up there with them and hang out. So just thought that was, it was like two bucks. So bought that on eBay. Uh, the next thing is I told you guys, I'm never know, uh, on the hall of famers, forget what I have. And I'm like, Oh crap, I need a Jersey card for some of the players. And I just got one the other day, but I always kind of double down on stuff. And I got another Trevor Hoffman here. This is a Gowdy, you know, upper deck Gowdy card. I love it. They're trying to be like the old uh, 34 Gowdies that said Lou Gehrig says at the bottom. And this one says Ken Griffey Jr. says. I think they also did one where it said Derek Jeter says. That's just a plain old Trevor Hoffman jersey card. I also did get, this is my first relic card of this player, shockingly. But it's a Gypsy Queen from 2016 Chipper Jones. Just a relic card jersey. Boring but necessary. Then I went and looked, uh, and I realized I only have one autograph of this player. So, he's, to me, he's definitely going in the Hall of Fame, uh, especially now after the World Series. And it's a pitcher from longtime Detroit Tiger, current Houston Astro, Justin Verlander. So, this is my second Verlander autograph. And just thinking, man, I, I better pick these up. He doesn't have a ton of autos out there. And so, I thought I'd pick that one up. And I did. Next, I got a couple of slabs for different sets that I'm working on. So today's just kind of different stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is for my last card Hall of Fame set. And it is a 1965 Topps Nelly Fox. And he's on the Astros, which is hilarious. Uh, look at that big old chaw he's got in his mouth, too. I love it. And it's a six, so that's a, just a good, you know, kind of collector grade for this card. I love it how it says he's a second baseman and a coach. So he pulled double duty for the Astros back then as a player and a coach. But this is Nellie Fox's last card, 65 tops. I got a, as uh, Joey Brings it would say, a 53 Bowman color, uh, Eddie Matthews. For my Bowman Color Hall of Fame set. Bowman Color. Eddie Matthews in a VG3. So not a great grade. The card presents nicer than a 3. Which as you guys know is more important to me than the actual numeric grade. But this is a second year Eddie Matthews. I mean his rookie card was 1952 top. So second year Eddie Matthews is pretty expensive. Um, but a 53 Bowman Color. For that set, I'm still working on that. Only about eh, three quarters of the way through that one. Uh, got a couple of other Hall of Fame autographs to round out my mail day. I have an autograph of this player or player. He's not even a player. Former commissioner um, on one of his business cards, but this is an actual card from what year is this? 2013. Allen and Ginter. So this is a Myco special. But it's a uh, Bud Selig. These are incredibly available. I think I paid twelve dollars for this shipped. Uh, so I don't have a problem with it being real. I will send it in though with one of uh, Garrett's card cutters submissions, group submissions for PSA DNA. I have quite a few. I'm kind of accumulating and getting ready to send to him for a submission. This is one I'm going to need to send to him for a submission but not because it needs to be authenticated, but because I want to get the autograph graded. And this is one that I already had this one. 
And last week I showed you guys the Joe Cronin that I got. This is the Red Ruffing. This is a much better autograph for Red Ruffing than the one that I currently have. This one is a much higher quality. The one I have currently, you can barely see the autograph. It's fading. It's not slab. This one is. So this is legit. Send it in. Just get them to put a grade on the actual autograph and uh, be done with that. And then I can show off the whole thing. I realized I did do a tabletop video already on the Hall of Fame Heroes set that I have, but now it's really complete. So I'm excited to, to show that off with all the slabs. It, I think it'll look really cool. I still need the Ted Williams in a slab. I've got it in kind of a weird goofy card, but that's my mail today. Um, short and sweet. Tried to keep it uh, as quick as I could. Thanks for watching and I hope everybody has a great night and keep collecting.